Jasmine, if it's a Y, right? Uh, Jasmine asks, uh, by the way, thank you for these questions. What are your fondest or most bizarre memories of living in England, either of the place or the people? Wow, that's opening the floor to an insane amount of shit. <laughs> fondest or most bizarre? Mm, okay. Well, uh, fondest, uh, just being there and making friends with English people, because if you know English people at all, you know that they're not easy friends. The difference between Americans and English people is simple. One, uh, we're easy friends here. In other words, hi, how are you? Hey, I like you. Let's go hang out. And then two days later, uh, I called you. What happened? Oh, fuck, you're not my friend anymore. <laughs> English people would never do that because they would never talk to you to begin with. <laughs> But after you know them for seven or eight years, they are your devoted friend for life. And that's the difference. Uh, we lived in Hampstead uh, in London. Uh, the guy on the corner who sold flowers, oh, well, the news agent, for instance, didn't say hi to me for three years. And then after three years, it was, you're all right, mate. And then I knew I was in. You know what I mean? You got to put the fucking time in in England to be a friend. And that means put the time in. Not like here where, hey, man, I dig you and shit. They don't, they don't play that. And I was reading about it today. In fact, I had it on here somewhere, but I've ripped it off. There was an article on the BBC a website today about why is English service so shit. Uh, because if you've ever been to England, you know that you like walk into a store and they, st they run away from you. And then they won't look at you. And if you say, hi, you're insane. <laughs> like if you walk into a shop in France... They go, bonjour, and they sing. They're, they sing bonjour to you. They always sing words. Uh, you must go back to them, bonjour, comment ça va? And then they go, ça va bien? And then you go, uh, je ne parle français pas. And then, do you speak English? And they go, oui. And then they speak English to you. Well, that's how it goes in France. But unless you do that social lubricity part up front, there's trouble. If you walk into a store in France and someone goes, bonjour, and you go, they fucking get mad at you and they won't wait on you. In England, if you walk in and you go, hey, what's up? They look at you. <laughs> we haven't been introduced. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> you might be better than me. I can't talk to you then. Or you might be below me, in which case I'm not talking to you at all. <laughs> so there's that weird part. So English service, like when we lived there, I remember going to there was two different restaurants, one in Newcastle, Pontine, and one in uh, London, and I forget which street it was on, but it was a kind of a yuppie neighborhood. And it was a barbecue joint they'd opened. And I remember going in and going, the service is so nice here. And the, and the manager came up to me and went, I won't hire Brits, mate. Only, only Yanks or Americans or Australians. I won't fucking have them, mate, because I can't fucking wait table. Because no English person would ever go, hi, how are you? How may I help you? Have a nice day. Never in their life, ever, ever, till the end of fucking time. No English person will ever tell you to have a nice day. They think it's fake. <laughs> They think it's false that you're being somehow, you're, you're, you might as well walk in with a Greek drama mask in front of you and that some persona you're adopting to get over on them in some insidious way. They don't realize that we as Americans don't really care if you have a nice day. We just say it because we're being polite. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? That's how America works. England, no fucking way on that one. They've just gotten over, have a nice day. So you'd go to McDonald's there and you go, uh, and the people at McDonald's are forced to be polite. Well, my old joke was they built a Disneyland uh, in Paris. They were thinking about building one in England, but that's a complete fucking non-starter. Because as you, if you've ever been to Disneyland, you know everyone has to be nice all the time. Hi, how are you today? You having a good time? I'm good, how are you? You know, No English person cares what kind of time you're having. And when they go, and English people inevitably go to Disney World in Florida, always. There's three places English people go. The Disney World in Florida, and then they do the Vegas, uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Locust, Triangle. So those are the only places they ever go. Or New York City, if they're really cool. So they go to Florida, and they stay with their uh, family, and they go to Disney World, and, oh, there's too much food. They give you too much food. Why do they give you so much food? We don't need this much fucking food. Because we're fucking fat, okay? And we want everyone to be as fat as we are. And by the way, England, you are now, all right? So who's fucking Zooming who? Have some more chips and a fucking pork pie, why don't you? But then they go, have a nice day. And people are like, well, I don't, I'll have the kind of day I want to have. I'm having a shit day. Can't you see that? Uh, so that's one of my fondest memories. And the other, my most bizarre, um, and Newcastle too, I remember going to the place one year on tour. And we stopped at this place on a Sunday afternoon. And we've been thrown out. I'm not kidding. 
Sunday lunch is a big deal in England, right? Now, Sunday lunch means uh, really horrible overcooked roast beef, uh, uh, Yorkshire pudding, which is like unspeakable. What you would do with an Yorkshire pudding is like put it behind a truck to keep it from rolling back down a hill. (laughs) Well, they slather it with gravy, which no one made by the goddamn way. It's from some bag or something. And so a Sunday lunch can be good, right? Uh, If you have it at someone's house, it's nice. And every pub and every restaurant in London will have Sunday lunch. Well, Sunday lunch ends at three. Did I mention it ends at three? It ends at fucking three. So driving across the country on tour, we're starving to death. It's 3.01 and we pull into this place. The car park, if you will, is full of motors, right? Fucking car park full of motors. Fucking pull up. Go inside, right? Bowling, bowling. And go, uh, can we get Sunday lunch? And the woman goes, lunch is off. And I said, but it's just three. And she went, I swear to fuck, looks at her watch and goes, it's 3.01. And I go, does this mean you're not going to serve us Sunday lunch? And she didn't even answer. I just got uh, uh, the look of, are you a sea creature who's mentally defective? Are you a millipede crawling through my tuna salad? It was, in, you know. Uh, bizarre memory Stonehenge Stonehenge is in between two roads the most mystical spot in England that's supposed to be a ley line place where the druids built there's two fucking freeways that go by either side of it and then you take an underground ramp to the snack bar where they sell donuts what we would call a donut there because it's Stonehenge Neolithic stone rings (laughs) fan fucking tastic 